Pastor Lou, man of God. Pastor Lou, man of God. Man the Bible, it is true. Pastor Lou, man of God. But I need you to understand this morning that I believe, hear me saints, that each one of us, everyone that's under the sound of my voice this morning, that you have the potential to be great. And just because you don't see it right now doesn't mean that it's not in there. The reason that I'm confident, hear me, that you have the potential to be great is because when you got saved and you accepted our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as your Savior, and you ask the Holy Spirit to come into your life, the Holy Spirit now lives in you. Here it is, because there are some things, watch this, that you can't even apply for until you qualify. Yeah, you, you, you can hear all of, the, all of the commercials that the interest rate is at a historic low, but if your credit ain't right, I can't get no help right here. You, you, you don't even pay much attention to it. It's there, but you can't get it. So you don't even try because you don't feel as if you qualify. I got to bring this to your attention this morning because if the enemy can get you to believe that you don't qualify from the outset, then you won't even try. I've come this morning to tell you that you qualify that you are a child of the most high God. Listen, I don't care who is in the house with you, where you are right now. If there's somebody sitting across from you, I want you to look them right in the face and ask them, have you applied yet? <laughs> here's, the, here's the problem. One of the things that causes our view on greatness to be a problem is we have reduced greatness to stuff. We have reduced greatness to money and material things. But I've come this morning to let you know that greatness is not just about money and material things. No, greatness is tapping into and using the full potential that God has placed down on the inside of you. I want you to tap yourself on the chest and say, I'm great. Come on, say, say it like you believe it. Say, there's greatness on the inside of me. If you believe it, give God a hand clap of praise right there on that. A recipe has no respect to person that the, the recipe, it, it works. If it works for one, it should work for the other, all things being equal. The only time the recipes don't work, but watch this, is if when you get it, when you want to add, <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you want to add your little touch to it. Just, just, just look at your Bible. The recipe says two cups of sugar, and you say, I put three cups in mine. Well, well, see, see, you can do that with, 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 with regular stuff, but when God gives you a recipe for how something is, should be done, don't veer from the recipe, honey. Do it exactly the way he said. Jesus, one day, he heard his disciples disputing about who would be great in the kingdom. Watch this, Mark, because Jesus did not rebuke them for thinking about being great. He did not say to them, no, don't think that way. Just be satisfied with your portion. No, he gave them the ingredients, watch this, of what it's going to take to be great. He, he says, listen, I don't mind you thinking about being great, but let me tell you what greatness looks like. He says, unless you humble yourself like a child, watch this, and serve others. Uh, he didn't say anything about your degree. He didn't say anything about your hookup. He didn't say anything about your family lineage. He says, if you want to be great, then you got to learn to humble yourself. Humble yourself and serve somebody else. I need you to understand that the greatness that you want cannot be found in the zone that you are in. Did you hear what I said? There is no comfort in the growth zone and there is no growth in the comfort zone. If you want to grow and be great, then you have to be willing to get out of your zone. God said to Abram, he said, Abram, these are the things that I want to do for you. But before I can do it, you got to get out of that country. You got to get away from that family. You got to get away from those father's house. In other words, get out of your comfort zone. God and the Bible.